I have no doubt that if you really wanted to, mm-hmm. you could go run an ultra marathon right now. Right. Both of us could. The question is, <laughs> will you be able to walk after? Right. So that's the thing that like, yeah, that the, the one dangerous thing that like David Goggins and yeah. people like him, yeah. that's the danger that they instill into people yeah. is that people then just want to get up and he's even said it. He's like, don't do what I do. You yeah. could legitimately die. Don't run like, an ultra marathon without training. Don't run an ultra marathon without training. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not, it, there's such a big difference between mental training and physical training. Mm-hmm. And you could argue over which one is more important. I personally think mental training is way more important. Same. But there's still that physical aspect of like, yeah, you can push through mm-hmm. X just in your mentality. But like, depending on how difficult that physical feat is, are you willing Mm -hmm. to suffer the consequences of overpowering your body with your mind? Right. Because you might be able to push yourself an extra five kilometers. Yeah. That doesn't mean that your knee can go an extra five kilometers or your hip. Yeah. And definitely in training, if you want to do that when you're actually doing whatever your goal is, fucking go hard. But when you're training, it's yeah. Because you could fuck yourself up and totally. then you won't be able to do that thing at totally. all. Right? Like yeah. injuries are so and, and there's like and you when definitely when you're training for something large, uh with like like a large athletic feat, you you get into like not you, you in general, you get into like a kind of a Superman mentality Mm. because you need that Superman mentality to get yourself through whatever you're trying to do, whether it's an ultra marathon or you're trying to do the fucking record for pushups or whatever it's going to be right in the moment. You need that training. You need to like put that on the sideline Mm. because you're not Superman, right? No one's Superman. Yeah. And you can tear ligaments and you can tear muscles that might make you, that might restrict you from actually doing the physical feat you're trying to do. Right. And you, you see it like all the time, people who overtrain, like overtraining is a real thing. Yeah. It's a very real thing totally. that can really, really hurt you. And like, yeah. I'm talking from like experience. Like I, that's, that's how I fucked up my body so bad in university is cause mm-hmm. I was practicing volleyball every single day, doing the volleyball, right. um, training that they gave us. But then I was also like, fuck it. I'm going to be a man and also work out in the morning before class. And I got like four injuries throughout the yeah. whole year. And I like, I had to sit out for like two and a half yeah. months. And then I realized I'm like, Oh, so counterintuitive. Yeah. And there's even like, there's overtraining health risks. Like if you overtrain, if you do too much, when your body isn't accustomed to it, you just trash your immune system because mm-hmm. your immune system is no longer going, let's look out for sickness. It's going, our body is destroyed right now and yeah. we need to fix it. We need to repair. So you basically, every time you overtrain, you're putting yourself at more of a disadvantage. Mm. So if you, again, I guarantee you could go front 50K if you really wanted to. Mm. You can put yourself in the mindset, right. but you might not be able to, to walk for a month after. Yeah. And then instead of running... 300 kilometers in preparation over that month yeah you now have sat on your ass yeah so it's like instead of running 50k at once to be like i'm fucking tough yeah run 5k yeah 10 times yeah and then you yeah get- it's like it's like the vol it's like getting the volume over the um it's like it's like because uh, i've volume that over once. intensity yeah exactly intensity is really Reps over intensity you definitely sh- you you have to know what intensity feels like yeah because when you want to actually execute it you have to know you kind of want to know where your limit is yeah <clears throat> so you always want to be pushing your limits a little bit yeah but the volume is how you actually get in shape it's how you yeah. actually prepare and it's how you get your body used to it yeah I it's like you, climbing i think it. you might be like half out of the camera by the way oh that's okay it's like climbing too. I think about that with climbing is yeah. like you can you can like push yourself super hard and you know say you're just starting climbing and you want to get super good at climbing, you can hop on 511s and keep yeah. falling off them, keep falling off them until you finally send mm-hmm. them. And you can train that way or you probably you can, will never even send them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You'll you'll not learn yeah. good technique, you won't learn your balance cuz you're yeah. constantly just trying to fight those small holds. Whereas if you climb like 100 58s, yeah. I guarantee you'll be a much better climber than if you climb yeah. like 50 511s and you or see try that. And you see that even like like even when I started climbing, like I was like yeah, because I was strong, like yeah. I was just naturally a strong person, yeah. not a strong climber. When well, you come from that athletic, like yeah, 
background. And when so you're able to do the first climbs, I was like, oh, this is easy. I'll do it and I'll do it and I'll do it. And I was yeah. just like, I'm like, I'm progressing so fast. Yeah. And I pulled my pulleys in like right. half my fingers. And I was yeah. like, oh, I, I overtrained. Yeah. And it, the same goes for everything. And I guess back to specifically what we were talking about is like running. Yeah. It's different in the way of like the different type of injury, but you, you're basically training when you're training for running. Yeah. You're basically training for one, your cardio. So that's like your lungs and how well you're breathing is and everything. But that's honestly not hard. After right. running for like two weeks, three weeks, your yeah. cardio goes up in a like substantial amount. It's like training climbing endurance as well. Exactly. Yeah. So like it, it goes up really fast. Easy, yeah. It's, it's, you're training how long your body can take consistent impact right over and over and yeah. over and over and if you only run like 2k a day you're not gonna really feel it right but when you get into the the not even running hiking yeah. anything long distance where you're constantly putting repetitive um yeah. strain Stress, on your body yeah you start to feel pain in places you shouldn't feel pain. Mm. Like, like if you go for a really long run, your shoulder starts to hurt. Yeah. And you're like, what? Oh, and yeah. And it's because, like, you're... Dude, like, I get it, like, in my... Yeah. So, what that is, is, is traps. what that is, is you going up and down, yeah. and every single time you drop, you're yeah. not necessarily shrugging or, or, or anything, yeah. but every time you drop, this muscle gets pulled just slightly. Right. And after an hour, your muscle's like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? Yeah. So, it's like, you have to, you have to train little things like that, but it's yeah. little things that you don't really realize are actually making a benefit involved that um the little things that you don't really realize are actually making a benefit can make a huge benefit in the future mm -hmm. like one thing for running and for like backpacking or mountain climbing you like you should be focusing so much in your core and your back strength right like so much hip yeah. flexibility like yeah there's so many things more than just like I'm going to push myself through For this sure. and get it, yeah. right? Yeah. Definitely definitely in like the case that uh I I'm not going to say what you're doing, but like the case that you're thinking about and mm -hmm. stuff we do is like being in the mountains. Yeah. That's a shitty place to get injured. Oh yeah. Right? You don't want to yeah. be 30k into the back country yeah. and, and blow your hip out, right? Yeah. So it's just like yeah, mentality is like a huge part of it, mm -hmm. but your physical ability to actually perform what you want your mentality to do. Right. Is you got to have both. You got to have both. Yeah. And there's so many, there's way more wrong ways to do it than right ways to yeah. do it. Yeah. And injuries are so real and they suck so much. Yeah. 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 So it's like, it's just figuring out the balance of mentality to physical mm. based on what whatever you're trying to do right right so it's yeah like if you go to david goggins he's like i ran 100 miles that training yeah <sighs> fucking <laughs> fucking impressive yeah but could you walk after right no well he and talks like, about that in his book too because he did the i forget what race it was um, but he did like an ultra race where it was yeah. literally just running around a track that's what i'm talking about yeah, yeah and he was basically like showing off not sh showing off, but there was, like, a guy there that he wanted to show, like, he could do this. Yeah. Because this guy has these other, like, super badass ultra marathon races. Yeah. And he wanted, David Goggins wanted yeah, to yeah. get into that. And basically, he did that, but then the guy, uh, I forget exactly what he said, but the guy was essentially like, okay, wow, you did it, but, you know, like... He didn't do it right. Basically. I think it's. I think what he. Well, I think what happened is he had to run a hundred miles straight, and he took a break. Or no, no, no. It was, he, he was supposed to do it in a certain amount of time. It was 24, 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah. And he did the 100 miles in 18 hours. Wait, no, wasn't it? Like wasn't it that he had to do, he had to run for 24 hours straight? It was 100 miles. I don't know. He did something. It was 100 miles technically. It was like something that was wrong that wasn't really like a, yeah. but the guy was like, eh, you didn't no, run 24 hours. He didn't hours. do it right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but, like, but then, like, his story is saying, like, how fucked up he was after. Yeah. Like, he was pissing blood, and he had, like... Oh, yeah. So, he had, like, fractures in his legs and yeah. all that, and it's, like... So, and for him, that was extremely beneficial because it was a mentality thing. Yeah. Because he came from a place that he really needed that mentality boost. Yeah. But someone just going out to get a physical... A physic to complete a physical feat, they don't need that. Yeah. And it can be legitimately dangerous. Like people yeah. get legitimately hurt and for sure potentially disabled from activities. Yeah. And I don't mean disabled as in like you're gonna end up in a wheelchair, but like you could blow your 
you could blow your Achilles or you could blow a tendon in your knee. Yeah. That maybe you're not going to not be able to walk after. Yeah. But you're not going to be able to run more than 5K ever totally. again. Because yeah. blah, blah, blah. So it's, yeah. it's just like figuring out what the physical feat is, how, what kind of shape you need to be in to do it. Yeah. And then applying your mentality to that yeah. instead of the reverse mm. of trying to apply your physical ability to your mentality. Right. Cause that's when you get hurt. Yeah. That's when that makes sense. That's when you go way too far. That's when you have the mental training without the physical training. Exactly. Yeah. And that's really dangerous. Yeah. That's what and the people... opposite is like, what's the opposite when you have the physical training without the mental training? I don't know if that really exists. Yeah. If you're, I mean, there's genuinely some people who just legitimately love working out. Yeah. But I, th- I think like. Maybe like gym people, like people who just work out of the gym and don't they, actually do anything else. But I feel like that stems from the mentality yeah. of working hard. And cause like, I don't, you can't, you can't be, you can get in shape yeah. pretty easily. Yeah. If you, you don't even have to work out. I like, I know people who are in shape who don't work out, but they just like do stuff. Yeah. They're just like always doing stuff. They're yeah. not sitting on their ass. Yeah. But to get in like in shape, mm. like to get in really good shape mm-hmm. where you're like an athlete, like yeah. a high end athlete, it's fucking hard. Yeah. And like, I think the mistake yeah, that people dialed. make is like the appearance of of an athlete mm. to someone who's actually an athlete. Right. Because, like, like, personally, my body doesn't really change. Mm. Like, like, I definitely get, like, less defined when I'm not in shape. Right. But, like, when I'm in clothing, you can't really tell when I'm at my best or I'm at my worst in terms mm. of, like, fitness. So... It's not about appearance. It's not about looking like right. you're a beast. It's yeah. like actually being a beast. Like one, yeah. a great example is like yoga. Some people who are insane at yoga look like they couldn't even lift a brick. Yeah. Right. But they same can with climbers. Do, same with climbers. Yeah. Sometimes like times you get crit. Like Adam Andre is the a great example. The little girls. Well, yeah. I mean, he's shredded. Yeah, but he's like super, super skinny at the same time. Yeah, it's just like, like the, he's not it's the body anyway. type. Yeah. Yeah, but I, it's just like to be an athlete that actually like produces pretty extreme physical feats Mm. you have to be you have to have that mentality yeah you can't you there's no way of coasting through it Mm -hmm. because you need to be consistent and and you need to eating is a huge part of it as well and like that's like that's why this is what i try to explain to girls when they're like i don't want to lift weights because i don't want to get big and i'm like do you know how hard it is as a man who produces way more testosterone to than bulk you up. to bulk? <laughs> it's fucking hard. Yeah. It takes a mentality yeah. that like you pushing through adversity to get somewhere where you actually physically change, especially getting big. Yeah. Getting skinny is easy. Yeah. Don't eat like shit and don't sit on your ass. You'll yeah. lose weight. Yeah. But to actually like gain physical muscle or yeah. train for a specific whatever, mm. it takes like planning and consistency and mentality and yeah blah 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 yeah yeah it's not just it's not just going to the gym yeah you can go to the gym for two years and still be average yeah. <laughs> like it's, i know a lot of people that are like that yeah well i i i had that too because i remember like i'd go through phases where i would go to the gym like like every every day or like five days a week like for you know three to six months straight and yeah. i wouldn't really see any results yeah but then with climbing especially in the last like in my last maybe three months of climbing before mm-hmm. everything happened, um, like with COVID. That's when I, for the first time in my life, I started noticing any sort of like physical mm-hmm. like gains yeah. of like, oh, wow, I actually have like abs now or, oh, wow, my, my biceps are actually getting bigger. Oh, yeah. wow, my forearms are getting jacked. Like it wasn't yeah. until that three months well, of climbing's different climbing. Though. It is very different. Climbing is such a crazy fucking sport. Yeah. And it takes so much strength. Yeah. I think I heard a thing that it's like the most calorie burning activity you can do. Yeah. I forget who told us that. I, um, I saw it I saw it in like a video or something and it basically Well, I remember we were hanging out with a guy and he told us that. I, I just I forget I, who it was. Yeah, I don't know. So, I mean, if you've heard it in two places, then yeah. I've only ever heard it that one time, oh. so... I just remember, and I remember the reasoning be because it's one of the only things that you're... you're always engaged. You're always engaged, <laughs> yeah. and, like, 90% of your muscles are strained. Yeah. If you're on, like, a hard climb, like, yeah. you're you're basically flexing your for, core, like, five minutes. Your legs, your yeah. arms, everything. And that's, I feel like that's why, like, when you get down, you're, like, you recuperate, recuperate, recuperate like yeah. fast to do like another climb but yeah. like after one climb you're just dead yeah you're like oh i need a break yeah you're so thirsty all the time yeah yeah it's a that's a it's a different sport yeah. i don't i can't think of any other sport that you're like engaging every single part of your body constantly right 
Like even 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 like running. Yeah. Like you don't do shit with your arms. They're just fucking flailing around, right? Like you yeah. want to have like a good motion and everything. Yeah. But like there's nothing that you're actually like engaging your leg muscles, your core, yeah. your chest, All your back, time. your neck muscles. Like and for everything. a sustained amount of time too. It's not just like getting on there yeah. for five seconds and flexing everything as hard as you can. It's yeah. like you're doing that the entire time you climb. Yeah. I feel like that's why like free soloing is so fucking crazy. Yeah. Because like that's like, you know when you're pumped and yeah. you feel like you're going to fall? Yeah. How do they not get that? Um, it's because, well, like when you look at like someone like Alex Honnold, for instance... He's such an elite climber. Like, he climbs, like, 514s, probably even 515s. Like, yeah. he's an elite climber. But then when he goes to, to do his free solos, he's climbing at, at a grade where he feels completely comfortable and relaxed. Yeah. It's like if you and Which I... like a 12. Yeah, like, yeah. Like he's still climbing, like, 512s. Yeah. But, like, it's like if you and I were to go on free solo, like, a 5.3. Yeah. You know, it'd be... It'd be equivalent It'd to, be pretty, pretty okay for a couple hundred meters. Yeah. I would say. Oh, yeah. But well, he's even, just on such a higher level. Even, like... Uh, There's just so much more risk and... Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's true. But, yeah, the reason that we're talking about all this is... Oh, yeah, just... Because we have a few project ideas. I basically just decided to start... Yeah. In the... Because we might as well make this the thing. Yeah, absolutely. Basically, I have this project idea um, in a few months, in like three and a bit months from now, four months, whatever it is. And um, I don't want to talk too much about it right now, but essentially I have to start training for like it's gonna be hard. a pretty crazy <laughs> physical feat. But it's not only like physical, it's very technical too. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many logistics involved. Yeah. I can't purely do it on my own. Um, there's a lot of like gear involved. Mm -hmm that's going to have to be figured out. So like, there's a lot of stuff and there's like a lot of logistics of like, okay, I need to have like food ready. Yeah. Um, what is my entire food going to look like? What's the whole schedule going to look like? It's not just like you heading out and doing it. Exactly. Yeah. I can't just go out and do it on my own kind of thing. Yeah. Or like, I can't even just do it with like one other person. Like I, yeah. I literally need like, like a, a team. team of people. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, I don't want to give it away yet. Cause I, I kind of want to keep documenting it. And there's so many things that, that it's like riding on where like everything needs to go super, super well. Yeah. Like not only is it extremely weather dependent, which I think weather is like also, the least of my worries. I think it's also global pandemic dependent. Yeah. Like if COVID-19 <laughs> is still happening come summer, like it, it, I probably just won't be able to do it just yeah. for, just for reasons of like BC Obvious parks reasons. being closed. And yeah. I don't want to put a strain on the, the healthcare system if something does happen, but yeah, I feel like this will be a good little uh, conversation to kind of have, like, documented. Because, like, you definitely, like, did open my eyes a lot to, like, it is not just mental ability. Like, it's very much so, like, physical ability, which yeah. I know that, but I didn't think as seriously about it. I think the no I think the most important thing I said out of all that, I'm kind of proud I said it, actually, when I said <laughs> it. I was like, ooh, that was a good one. Your physical ability should match your mental ability, not yeah. your mental ability needs to match. Fuck, I fucked it up. You yeah. need to train your physical ability to yeah. match your mental ability, yeah. not train your mental ability to match your physical ability. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because that, yeah, that's, yeah. Because I think my mental you, you is, need to do that. is like <laughs> relatively, it's okay. Um, yeah. For, I think, where I need it to be. I think mm, when it comes to I, certain parts of it, like if it still I'm needs work. 100% honest. Yeah. I think you're underestimating how hard it's going to be. Yeah, definitely I am. A little bit. Like, like if I'm being, if I'm I, being a, I was I thinking about that. You. I was like, I have <laughs> to have honest. a little bit of like naivety with that because I think when you take on anything that's like really crazy, you have to be a little bit delusional of how capable you are. Because if you yes. go into it thinking this is going to be so hard, it's going to be so hard. I'm going to be in so much pain. It's going to be so hard. If you think like that, like it's going to be so much harder because you're mm. constantly like weighing on your, on yourself of how hard it's going to be. Uh, I think I, I wouldn't say naivety. I think you need to be. I think almost the opposite that you want to go into it prepping for more than what you think it's going to be. Right. Right. And like there's, yeah. there's certain cases where like you can't because whatever it is, it's going to be so hard. Yeah. But like, I, I feel like you need to, you need to go in knowing how hard it's going to be, but being confident that regardless of the difficulty that you can achieve it yeah. and it's going to hurt and it's going to be painful and yeah. it's going to suck, blah, yeah. blah, blah, but you know, you can push through that. Totally. But I think going in with a, with, Going in naive is really dangerous. Yeah, maybe naive wasn't the right word, but... I know what you mean. I know yeah. what you mean. Like, you have to be, like, a little bit, like... 
a little out there to believe you yeah. can do whatever X is, right? Totally. Yeah. You have to be a little bit crazy. I forget. Yeah. I heard someone say that once. Someone who did like some crazy shit. Gotta be a little crazy. Yeah, you do have to gotta, be a little bit. I, I gotta be a little bit crazy. You gotta be crazy. You gotta be a little Because normal people, like people who think normally and like well, completely about, rationally, like. Think about like ultra marathon runners. Yeah. So like that's because we've been talking about that the last couple of days because yeah. like we both, that's one of our goals is to run an ultra marathon at some point. Definitely. And I think when, we know which one we want to do. Do we? Well, it's not like an official ultra marathon. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> we should train for that for sure. Yeah. Um, when you talk to, so I, I remember I was talking to, I think it was my sister, or I don't, I don't remember who it was, but basically I was talking to them about like running long distances, mm-hmm. and we talked about running. I think it was eighty k. I think eighty k was like the topic. Yeah. And I, we were, um, Fuck, that's long. and she was basically saying that like. Ah, uh, like, you know, like it's, it's like, maybe you could do it, but like, nobody can do that. Like, it's like your, your muscles give out, your legs give out, blah, blah, mm. blah. There's that race, the Moab 240. Yeah. That's 240 miles. Miles. Not kilometers. Not kilometers. Yeah. What is it, 400 K? Ish, probably about 400 k people run that so there's like the mentality Straight. yeah so that's the difference of like normal people to crazy yeah that you have to be fucking crazy yeah. to think you can run 400 kilometers straight yeah but people do it yeah. i mean like they took a they took like a nap and maybe a break yeah but it's still so like there's such a gap between thinking normally and what's actually possible yeah that it's not even like comparable right because like lots of people think that like running 10k they're like oh, fuck that yeah like i've never dude, ran some people 2K. don't think they can run 10 kil- like i remember I, dude i know people before think i started running a running. kilometer yeah <laughs> i'm like yes like, it's not far dude, like i ran nine kilometers it. after five months of no running a few weeks ago yeah and i had like a few people that were like wow like yeah 9k some people train for months to do 9k yeah. you just did it and i'm like 9k is not and, hard and <laughs> that's so that's the part where like the mentality is falling behind the physical yeah Right, where yeah. like people people don't realize how easy it is to yeah. train for something like that. Yeah, and like some people obviously like have more difficulties than others, and like we're yeah. both pretty like naturally athletic people because we're tall and like we're not yeah. naturally overweight or anything. We're physically like that. privileged. A little we're bit. physically privileged quite a, like quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but that's not to say that like you can't do something that physically privileged people can do. Mm-hmm. It might just take a little bit longer. Yeah, like and like while we're on the running topic, like. People are so, like, scared of running mm. for whatever reason. Running is yeah. one of those things. I think it's just because it's a consistent effort. Yeah. It's not like going to the gym where you can lift some weights yeah. and then hang out for five and minutes. And when's the only between. time you have to run? It's either, like, you're running away from danger yeah. or there's an emergency That's or your fucking gym teacher in high school is when making you, you run. Does anyone ever run because of natural causes anymore? Um, Africans and Africans. <laughs> people definitely. If I think like some people do. If you're like late for a bus or if something. If you're like a persistence runner in Africa, a persistence yeah. hunter in Africa. Yeah. Okay, so that's actually that's one one thing I got really into running. Or one of the reasons I got really into running. Yeah. Is because I've heard I heard this theory that running was the reason humans were able to survive before we evolved into what we are now. So like every animal has like their thing, like dolphins are super fucking smart. Yeah. Elephants are massive. Yeah. Cheetahs are ridiculously fast. Humans Lions are, are super strong. Efficient. Humans can run. Yeah. N- like ridiculous distances. Yeah. And we've lost Compared that. To any other animal, I think humans can probably yeah. run and the longest. One of the, the biggest reasons are is we can control our breath. So yeah. lots of, it's lots of animals can't control their breath. They can't do or right they have one breath it's just breathe out breathe in another thing is we sweat lots of animals don't sweat right so we're able to um so efficient we're so efficient and we only have two two limbs to walk on we're not moving forth exactly so that's but that's that's one of the reasons that it's also a benefit is that basically like it takes more energy to move four limbs it didn't move two um so one of the cool things about running and something that I've heard theories that we've kind of lost that through modern society yeah. because we don't need to run anymore. Right. But that could have been the reason humans actually survived before right. we became really intelligent Interesting. is that we were able to run way further yeah. than everything else. And that's actually something that still exists and did exist more in the past and in, in I think it originated in Kenya. Yeah. Is called persistence hunting. Mm-hmm. And those guys are crazy. And they're basically these like tribal Africans who to hunt down their prey, 
they're not going to catch an impala. They're not going to catch these ridiculously fast and yeah. agile animals. So what they do is they will chase them till the animal dies of exhaustion. Yeah. That's fucked. Yeah. Think about that. Imagine having something chase you until you literally Kay. just can't run So let, you're going for a walk outside and you see a deer. Yeah. You're going to chase that deer yeah. until it dies because it's too tired to keep running. Yeah. And it just gives up. That's insane. And so they do that. They chase it for hundreds and hundreds yeah. of kilometers sometimes. Hours and hours and, and then hours. they get it and it dies of exhaustion. Then they carry it back. Yeah. That's why humans are badass. That's yeah. why humans survived before they were able to create right. technologies and everything. Potentially, I fear it. Yeah. But it just goes to show that like we actually do have some physical advantages because like that's also spoken about a lot and like i say it too that like humans are kind of pussies mm. it's like humans used to be badass right now we've become these soft mushy little like yeah yeah, yeah definitely we don't want to get hurt we don't want to run yeah. but like we do but like we don't know that until we test it yeah and i think one of the cool things about these ultra marathons is like these there's people out there there's hundreds if not thousands of people who do these ultra marathon runs who run up to 400 kilometers or whatever who are proving that like humans are actually physically capable of pretty crazy things right just most people don't have the mentality mm. that they want to find out what that is because they don't have to because right. it's so easy to just like sit on your couch now yeah and watch tv totally but um so it's again it just goes back to like the physical versus mentality thing of like yeah there are the your mentality limits your physical mm -hmm. ability yeah. way more than your physical ability will um will eliminate or um will limit your mentality right yeah it's just like so it's just basically breaking that mm -hmm. breaking that wall yeah. that your mind gets we into. should develop um like a training regimen to start like basically conditioning ourselves like we've we've been like well you've been running a lot more than i have mm -hmm. but like like we have been running, but I think, especially for what I want to do, like I need to do a lot more almost strength. trail running and like I plan on, I plan on doing a lot more running with like a fucking heavy backpack. Like mm, I, I did, wouldn't do that at first. I would. Yeah. So again, that's like, you want to get good at running before you're good at running with weight. Right. Right. Like yeah. you don't want to just go, cause that's how you blow your knees out. Right. Um, yeah. Like. Again, it totally depends on specifically what what you want to do, but yeah. like, like you need to train so many different parts of your body. Yeah, you just need to be overall. Yeah, like really good. I think I really just need to start shape. running like every day. Like even if it's like just a few kilometers. Start. Yeah, like I mean, I think I just need to start running. There's you either volume. You need to start running volume, but volume doesn't mean twenty kilometers a day. Volume means yeah. starting with two kilometers a day for a week, and then yeah. three kilometers a day, and then five kilometers a day, yeah. and then getting up to ten kilometers a day. Right. And then after that, you can be like, "Hey, I'm gonna put weight on, but now right. I'm gonna run three kilometers a day with weight." And right. then I'm gonna. So it's like, yeah, it's such it's a long process, and like yeah. you can fast, you can make it faster or slower, sure, or like, sure. based on how much time you have to yeah. do the actual training, but. Um, yeah, don't just throw on like a 50 weight backpack yeah. and go run a mountain Yeah, because you'll hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but some people can push through. Yeah. Like David Goggins, you mad fuck. Some people are just crazy. Some people are crazy. Yeah. We didn't pull a thing. That's okay. That's okay. I feel like we talked about enough. Well, that's it for today. Say it really quick. We got 30 seconds. Um... We didn't pull a topic, but we were in the middle of a conversation. Different so format today. Um, basically, training for some big physical activities come summertime. Talk faster. We got so like 10 seconds. We're starting now and follow along. <laughs>